This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting grounded tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at smoothies. Let's get to it. So if you don't know about smoothies in this game, smoothies can be made in the smoothie maker here and you can just get that. You just place it in your normal build menu right there smoothie maker anyway you place it you build it and then you can put any three ingredients in here that you want some ingredients make special smoothies most of them will just make this smoothie with a question mark and literally any three things like you could do sap you could do the acorn bits i could even do it dandelion tuft it doesn't it doesn't matter pretty much anything can go in there and anything can be made a smoothie i can do three of the acorn shells i could do three stones if i wanted to it's a great way to get rid of like extra stuff that you have if you have an abundance of something and i always recommend keeping a ton of smoothies on you because they work as a healing potion they'll heal you for a chunk of health every time you drink one and it's almost an instant heal so they're super handy to have when you're fighting so now that you know how to make smoothies let's take a look at some of these smoothie recipes now before we take a look at these i have to let you know i can't take credit for these these were posted by a user on the official grounded discord so i did not find these but I'm sharing them with you. Okay, so first off, we have the green machine, which is a clover leaf, a plant fiber, and a sprig. Then we have liquid rage, which is ant mandibles, the larva spike, and spider fangs. Then we have boost juice, which is mushroom acorn bits and i have aphid jerky here as a placeholder because it doesn't spoil but you don't use aphid jerky you use just normal aphid meat raw aphid meat in here so remember this is just a placeholder because the other one kept spoiling on me in between like trying to get ready for this video and stuff so you want just plain raw aphid meat then we have fuzz on the rocks which is mite fuzz quartz and pebble See, I told you you could even use stones if you wanted to. And then last but not least, we have the gastro goo, which is fungal growth, a gas sack, and aphid honeydew. Okay, so now let's take a look at what each of these does. So the gastro goo gives you gas guard, so it's basically like a gas mask. You can wear it and go into a gas area or fight stink bugs and not have to worry about the gas. And then we have uh, the green machine, which gives you hyper stamina, and that just causes your stamina to regen super fast. And then we have liquid rage, which gives you attack plus, increases your attack damage. Then we have boost juice, which just gives you a boost to your maximum stamina. And then we have fuzz on the rocks, which gives you a boost to maximum health. Now, how long do these last? Because they don't tell you anywhere when you drink them where it's at that you have a buff or what that buff's doing or anything like that. There's no UI for that yet, which is something that really needs to be added soon if they're going to have buffs in the game. But I did some testing with only the gastro goo because it was the easiest one for me to test. The rest of these is a little difficult because your stamina kind of regens pretty quick to begin with. So it would be hard for me to tell. I can't really tell much of a difference with the liquid rage for damage. And these you can't see actual numbers of your health. So it's hard to tell how much or health and stamina. So it's hard to tell. But I drank the gastro goo and I stood in the gas area and it lasted two minutes so i'm assuming once again i'm assuming that they all last two minutes now i can't be for sure i'm sure that the gastro goo lasts for two minutes because i timed it i stood there and i didn't take damage for two minutes but the rest of these I can't guarantee you, but I'm assuming that they're all the same. All right, and that's it for this one. I just wanted to share those recipes with you so they get out there and get circulated around. All right, if you like these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more, I'm going to be hitting the grounded content really hard. There's going to be plenty of it. And the like button if you like the video. If you didn't like it, then don't like it. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.